microorganisms friends and foes so this is for class 8th chapter 2 if you have already seen the video in which i gave you the introduction of this chapter i am sure you would have some idea of what we are going to study in this video today and that is going to be a detailed explanation of the microorganisms their types their harmful effects their benefits or advantages and how do we take care of everything now what we need to understand is ki ye microorganisms hain wo kitne tarah ke hain aur inse humko kya fayda hota hai kya nuksan hota hai aur ye kahan kahan hote hain so now we need to understand ki jo microorganisms hain these are the organisms jinko hum microscope ki madad se dekhte hain i had given you a definition in the previous video so microorganisms are the organisms that we can see only with the help of the microscope and not with the help of the naked eye और ये मेनली चार तरह के होते हैं दैट इज योर बैक्टीरिया योर फंगी देन एल्गी प्रोटोजोआ और एक और है विच इज ऑन द बॉर्डर लाइन ऑफ द लिविंग एंड द नॉन लिविंग विच वी कॉल एज वायरसेस नाउ कमिंग टू द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ दीज माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स नाउ द फर्स्ट कमर्शियल यूज दैट वी आर कमिंग टू इज द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ द वाइन्स अब ये जो वाइन्स हैं या एल्कोहल है ये कैसे प्रिपेयर किया जाता है देर इज अ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म विच इज़ अस्ट और इस यीस्ट को हम क्या करते हैं वी जनरली एड इट्स टू द ग्रेन्स और वी एड टू द फ्रूट्स इन ऑर्डर टू प्रिपेयर द वाइन्स एंड द एल्कोहल्स धीरे धीरे ये जो फ्रूट शुगर है ये फर्मेंट होने लगती है इसमें से एल्कोहल की स्मेल आती है एंड दिस इज हाउ वी गेट आर एल्कोहल और द वाइन्स ना यू मस्ट हैव सीन इन योर डेली लाइफ कि मम्मा क्या करती हैं जब उन्होंने डोसा या इडली बनानी होती है तो उसमें बैटर में शी मिक्स इज लिटल बिट ऑफ ईस्ट एंड सुबह तक वो जितना भी आपका बैटर है वो काफ़ी उसका वॉल्यूम इंक्रीज हो जाता है क्योंकि ये जो ईस्ट है ये कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रिलीज करती है इट इज़ अ गैस और वो बबल्स की फॉर्म में इट जस्ट गोज इन टू द बैटर एंड इट इंक्रीज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द बैटर सो दिस वी सी इन आर डे टू डे लाइफ so another use is a medicinal use like when you fall ill generally the doctor gives you antibiotics or ye antibiotics jo hain these are prepared from fungi they are prepared from bacteria and they help to fight the disease or the ailment that you have for example streptomycin hai penicillin hai ye sare kya hain antibiotics hain ye aapko help karte hain to fight these diseases and another medicinal use is the vaccination aapne dekha hoga jab bachcha born hota hai to usko kuch injections lagaye jate hain even you must have seen on the tv jo hamara polio ka campaign tha jisme kya ho raha tha ki ghar ghar ja ke they were giving the polio drops so that is also a vaccine now another is a vaccine yeah another example we see it generally in case of the smallpox because of the campaign what has happened worldwide ye abhi jo hai aapka smallpox has been eradicated ye bilkul khatam ho gaya hai we say you can you know hear the sound w w se kya hai bachche weakened microbes matlab wo microbes wo microorganisms jo kamzor hain us halat mein hum unko body ke andar inject karte hain क्यों क्योंकि वो वीक है तो वो डिजीज तो कॉज नहीं करेंगे लेकिन वो क्या करेंगे हमारे बॉडी का जो डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म है उसको वो अलर्ट कर देंगे सो so, अब क्या है हमारे बॉडी के जो सोल्जर्स हैं वो ऑलरेडी अलर्ट हैं टू फेस एनी काइंड ऑफ अटैक और इन्वेजन बाय द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म विच मे एंटर लेटर इन द बॉडी सो दीज वर सम ऑफ द मेडिसिन यूजेस Now coming to the next is they also help us in increasing the soil fertility. आपने बेटे सुना होगा कि generally there are you know leguminous plants जिनके अंदर protein content बहुत होता है ये leguminous plants के root nodules में there are some kind of swellings, there are some kind of a nodules जिनके अंदर bacteria रहते हैं जिनको हम बोलते हैं rhizobium. और ये क्या करता है जो free nitrogen इसने fix की है that is now available to the plants for converting it further into nitrates and proteins which are used later. Now, lastly, coming to the uses, they also help in the cleaning of the environment. Now, you take two containers. एक में आप डालते हो biodegradable waste, एक में आप डालते हो non-biodegradable waste. अब पहले आपको पता होना चाहिए biodegradable waste क्या है, जो धीरे-धीरे डिके हो जाते, जो धीरे-धीरे खत्म हो जाते हैं. And non-biodegradable waste will be your bottles, your plastics, you know, glass bottles and all. They will not get degraded. उनको हम बोलते हैं non-biodegradable wastes. 
तो ये जो बैक्टीरिया हैं ये जो माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म हैं ये क्या करते हैं जो बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस हैं उनको डिके करते हैं जो हमारी एनवायरनमेंट है उसको क्लीन करते हैं एंड सो दे आर ऑल्सो नोन एज द स्वीपर्स ऑफ द एनवायरनमेंट एंड दे हेल्प अस टू कीप द एनवायरनमेंट क्लीन लेकिन जो बॉटल्स हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल या प्लास्टिक मटीरियल है जिसको आपने दूसरे कंटेनर में डाला है उसको ये कुछ भी डिग्रेड नहीं कर सकते दैट इज़ बाई दे आर नोन एज नॉन बायोडिग्रेडेबल वेस्ट Now, before going to the harmful effects, I want to tell you about the nitrogen cycle, which is very, very important in our day-to-day life. As we can see in the diagram, we should remember one thing that the atmosphere is composed of seventy-eight percent of the nitrogen gas. Now, this nitrogen is very, very important for all the living organism. It forms an important part of the proteins, chlorophyll, nucleic acids, and vitamins. But this is in the free form in the atmosphere and it cannot be consumed like this. तो इसको fix कौन कर रहा है इसको या तो nitrogen fixing bacteria fix कर रहे हैं या with the help of the lightning ये nitrogen जो है ये fix होती है and then it is converted into the nitrogenous compounds. And ये जो compounds हैं nitrogen के they go into the soil which are then used by the plants और वो जब animals उन plants को खाते हैं तो these are also taken up by these animals. Now finally the plants and the animals they both die and when they die तो क्या होता है बेटे decay होता है decay होने के बाद में these nitrogenous you know uh, substances or you can say that the nitrogen in the gaseous form is again released into the atmosphere and कुछ जो nitrogenous waste है that also is added back to the soil after the death of these organisms or when these organisms like animals you know they do the excretion then also some of the nitrogenous waste are added back into the soil now when i'm talking about the harmful effects the first thing that we need to remember is ki ye jo hai harmful effect microorganisms ka जब हम इसकी बात करते हैं तो सबसे पहले हमारे दिमाग में क्या आता है कि दे कॉज डिजीजेज डिजीजेज इन प्लांट्स डिजीजेज इन एनिमल्स एंड ऑल्सो डिजीजेज इन ह्यूमन बींग्स सो दिस इज अ चार्ट विच इज़ शोइंग द वेरियस ह्यूमन डिजीजेज लाइक ट्यूबरक्लोज मीजल्स चिकन पॉक्स पोलियो विच आर कॉज बाई मे बी बैक्टीरिया और वायरस सो वी कैन सी द मोड ऑफ द ट्रांसमिशन एंड सम ऑफ दैम आर बींग स्प्रेड बाय द एयर और थ्रू कंटैक्ट और थ्रू द वॉटर सो अनदर डिजीजेज लाइक कॉलरा एंड टाइफाइड आर कॉज बाय द बैक्टीरिया hepatitis a is caused by the virus malaria however is caused by the protozoa and the mosquito which is responsible for this is the female mosquito or the female anopheles whereas there is another disease which is a dengue which is caused by the female aedes mosquito another thing that we need to remember is that certain diseases like the anthrax they are caused by the bacteria in case of the animals and now in this chart we will see about the various plant diseases like the citrus canker which is caused by the bacteria or the rust of the wheat which is caused by fungi now at times when we go for a party sometimes what happens we come back with a stomach ache humko vomiting hoti hai loose motions hoti hain to doctor humko batata hai ki humko food poisoning hui hai it means jo hamara food humne khaya hai usme koi aisi cheez thi jo spoil thi aur usko spoil kon karta hai microorganism ab hamari koshish kya hai ki jo hum khana kha rahe hain that should be of good quality तो अपने फूड की क्वालिटी को प्रिजर्व करने के लिए हम क्या करते हैं वी आर यू नो अडॉप्टिंग सर्टेन मेथड सर्टेन मेजर्स जिससे हमारे खाने की क्वालिटी खराब ना हो और वो जो खाना है वो हमको हार्म ना करे सो द फर्स्ट इज़ द केमिकल ट्रीटमेंट केमिकल ट्रीटमेंट में क्या है हम कुछ केमिकल्स यूज़ करते हैं लाइक सोडियम बेंजोइट सोडियम मेटाबाइसल्फाइड तो ये हम जैम्स वगैरह में ऐड करते हैं जिससे वो प्रिजर्व रहते हैं उनकी क्वालिटी खराब नहीं होती so next is that we add sugar now sugar is a preservative again and when we add it to any food substance it reduces the moisture content as a result of which the bacteria cannot survive kyunki jo moisture hai jo bacteria ko survive karne ke liye chahiye wo jab usko nahi milta hai to wo survive nahi kar sakte now another method is that we can even add salt now to preserve certain meat and fish products what they do is that they cover it with the help of the salt and salt also does not allow these bacteria to survive for long another method that we see is the hot and the cold treatment ab jo khana banate ho jab aapne usko cooking ke baad mein preserve karna hai to what do you do you put it in the fridge and in this cold temperature what happens the bacteria cannot survive at the same time about the hot treatment we can say for example we boil milk why because in this case whatever bacteria or microorganisms are there in the milk they will get killed aur dusra tarika kya hai we use the process of pasteurization in this case the milk is heated to 70 degree centigrade and this temperature is maintained for 15 to 30 seconds what happens when you maintain it at 70 degree centigrade for 15 to 30 seconds 
bacteria cannot survive. Another very important method how you can preserve food stuff is by adding oil or vinegar. What happens? The bacteria again cannot survive under these kind of conditions. Now, lastly we come how do we store the foods? Now you must have seen that some of your food stuffs like the dry fruits and all they come canned and canned I mean that they come in cans. Now these are airtight. It means that there is no air in them and a vacuum has been created. Now without air naturally these microorganisms cannot survive. So what have we studied in this chapter today? We have studied it in detail that what are the kind of the different microorganisms and what are the harmful effects of these and when they harm us they are our enemies or foes and when they are beneficial to us then at that time they are our friends. So I hope you must have understood the chapter clearly now. So children stay connected with me on my channel Rise to Shine. Thank you so much children. Thank you.